What's up y'all? Today I'm going to teach you how to dock your wake boat. So today we'll be driving a Centurion Boats FI-25, which is a pretty large size for a wake boat, but everything will be pretty much the same. Something that you guys need to keep in mind is that about 98% of wake boats will reverse to the right. So whenever you pull this in reverse, the boat will be reversing to the right. If you do turn the wheel all the way right, it will slightly go more right than it would be if it was straight. And if you turn the wheel all the way left, the boat can almost reverse perfectly straight. Since your boat does reverse the right, it's probably a better idea to try and dock your boat on the right side of the boat. If your boat does turn to the left, which is pretty unlikely, it might be a better idea to try and dock your boat on the left side. And one last thing to keep in mind when docking your boat is that there's no such thing as taking it too slow. It's definitely a lot easier to catch your boat on the dock when you're going about a half a mile an hour rather than like four or five miles an hour. These boats can cost well over $100,000, so you don't really wanna be damaging them. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do before even approaching the dock is getting your fenders attached to the boat. Most wake boats will have these cleats that will extend out of the side of your boat. You're gonna to wanna to pull it out like that. You can just take this rope right here and loop it through the middle. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to loop this rope around your hand like that, get it around the edge of the cleat, boom, pull it tight. Do it on the other side as well. Some will say that is enough, but I personally prefer to play it safe and put a couple more on there just so the buoy will never ever come off. Now that your fenders are on, the next thing that you're gonna wanna have ready before you actually approach the dock is your dock lines. You can basically take this loop that's on the end of most dock lines and you can just loop it through the center of that cleat just like you did on the buoy, but this time take that loop, go around both ends of the cleat and then pull it tight and then it cannot come off the cleat. Now for the driving portion of docking your boat. Earlier I said there's no such thing as too slow and this is 100% true right now. Just clicking it forward into idle and as you build momentum, this could actually be too fast. So if you wanna go even slower than that, you can just pull up on this right here and bump it into gear and then let it out of gear. Bump it into gear again and do this so you can move at a really, really slow pace. Moving at a slow pace is even more important when docking alone, just because you're gonna need to catch the boat yourself. And if you are moving pretty quickly, it's gonna be really difficult. Maybe if you have a couple extra people on the boat, you can come in a little bit more hot, but just keep in mind, there's no such thing as too slow. Also, if you do have boards on the rack on the right side of your boat, just make sure you swivel that rack in and then your boards will be nice and safe and won't get damaged on the dock. Now we're coming up to the dock ahead of us. When approaching the dock, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the nose of your boat is aimed just slightly to the left of the front cleat you're gonna be tying up to. Make sure you're bumping your throttle into gear and back into neutral so you're approaching the dock at a nice slow pace. As you're getting closer to the dock, you can almost turn your wheel left while engaging the throttle so the back of your boat is almost swinging over towards the dock. You can click your boat back into neutral, turn your wheel all the way to the right, and then click it into reverse to swing the back of the boat all the way around. Make sure you're doing this nice and slow so when you are alone, you can safely click it back into neutral, hop on out of the boat and catch it, and you're ready to tie up your dock line. Now that we have the boat nice and snug up against the dock, you're just gonna wanna take your dock line and you're gonna wanna put it almost exactly on the cleat like you put the fender on the boat cleat. You're gonna wanna come around the cleat just like that, flip it upside down, loop it, do it again, loop it. People say that that's enough, but personally I like to do more because I honestly don't like my boat floating away. So you could probably do that two, three more times and I promise you, your boat will never ever float away. Luckily on this dock, the cleats are placed absolutely 
perfectly align with the cleats on my boat so i didn't really need to do much adjustment but depending on where the cleats are you can tie your dock lines to maybe the tower or the cleat up front or just whatever makes your boat the most snug and safe against the dock so you don't damage it that's how you dock a boat if you guys like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up comment below what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future and remember i upload a video every second day forever so make sure you guys subscribe i'll see y'all next time peace